Hi, guys. After hearing of Laird, Jack, and Charles' discovery of a possible underground tunnel on the property once owned by Samuel Ball, Rick Lagina and Billy Gerhardt arrived to inspect what could be a major find. There's a, definitely a void below these rocks. It lines up exactly with the anomaly, so it is yeah. the anomaly. I mean, if this is a tunnel, it's an aha moment. Yeah. Look, a tunnel here on the Ball Foundation is the one thing. Did you just say this could be the one thing? For the Ball Foundation. Oh, OK. It'd be huge. It is huge. Yeah. It means that there might have been something that Mr. Ball chose to keep secret. Well, what could be more secret than some understanding of, of the mystery yeah. here? How do you know this is Samuel Bull connected? This might have been here a long time before. I mean, look at the what? stuff we found. We found yeah. tools that were used for tunneling, really old tools. Look at that. That's, oh, look at the size of that. Uh, that's chunky. Over the past year, the Oak Island team has discovered a number of ancient tunneling tools, including an iron chisel and two swages all of which have been estimated to be over 600 years old. Could these ancient tools be related in some way to the possible tunnel the team has just uncovered? And could it be a major clue that Samuel Ball did find something of great value on Oak Island in the late 1700s to account for his great wealth? If so, what might still be here waiting to be found? I mean, this looks like an ID cubby hole to me. This is where I'd hide my treasure. I think Samuel Ball might have chose this lot for a reason. Like, <laughs> what? Can I lift him? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, look at this. Ooh. Yeah, that looks like a tunnel or a vault. I mean, this is incredibly interesting. What do we do next? Excavate a little bit in and around the anomaly. And explore inside. We'll assess and see how to move yeah. forward. All righty. I think we'll call it our day. All right. See you guys. See you, man. Congrats. Great job, and look forward to tomorrow.